Hello and welcome to another video in this SAP ABAP training program. In this session, we'll understand ABAP syntax. Syntax basically means certain rules you need to follow while writing your code. So every programming language has certain syntax that you need to know. With programming, one advantage is that once you learn one programming language and if you want to explore another programming language, all you need to know is the syntax of that particular programming language because the programming concepts remain the same for every programming language. So with ABAP, if you are planning to learn ABAP, then the first thing you need to do obviously is to understand what are the syntax rules to write your ABAP code. In ABAP, it's fairly simple programming language. Uh, most of the statements that you write sound like plain English. Uh, it's not complicated at all. Uh, unlike other programming languages, you don't have to use curly bra braces and all this stuff. Uh, it, it's all keyword driven. A program, an ABAP program basically is a set of statements that you write. So if you want to create a program to do certain thing, then all you need to do is write different statements to perform different tasks while the program is running. I've written some code here, some few lines of code. What this program will do is when I execute this program, it will show me one input screen where I can input my name or anything. And once I execute, whatever I input on that input screen will be displayed in the output, right? So if you just want to try it out. So this is a very simple example I've taken uh, so that I can show you the syntax of ABAP. So I, I got one screen with an input field where I can input my name. And when I execute, it prints my name is Kiran. So using this example, let's understand the syntax rules. The first rule is each statement begins with a keyword and ends with a period. So if you see this code, all the blue color highlighted words, the first word in the statement is called the keyword. So report is one keyword, parameters is one keyword, write is another keyword, right? And each statement is doing certain things. For example, this parameter statement is responsible for showing me this screen. Okay, this screen I'm getting because I've used that parameter statement or the parameters keyword. If I remove this statement, if I delete this statement, then I won't be getting that input screen. So like that, if you want an input screen, you use a certain keyword. If you want to show some output, you use a certain keyword. If you want to fetch data from database table, you again use a certain keyword. So you just need to understand these different keywords that are available in ABAP that you can use to perform different tasks. The first syntax rule is the each ABAP statement should begin with a keyword and end with a period. So here I'm beginning my statement. Parameters is the keyword and I'm ending the statement using this period. Like that for every statement, if you notice, the first word in the statement is the keyword and I'm ending each statement with a period. So the first word is known as the keyword and other words in the statement can be operands. For example, here, p underscore name is an operand, is the name of the variable I've given. We call them operands or it can be an operator. For example, you can write uh, a statement like if uh, something is greater than. So greater than is an operator here. So an ABAP statement can have, uh, the first word is the keyword and the other words could be an operand, an, uh, an operator, or it can also be an addition to the keyword. For example, each statement comes with its own set of additions that you can use. So here, type is one addition. Length is one addition for this parameter statement, right? For example, uh, similarly, if I want to print this name, uh, left justified, then with the right statement, I can use this left justified addition. So here left justified, just left justified is the addition that you can use with the right statement. So you begin with begin the statement with the keyword and the statement can contain operands, operators or additions to the keyword. And each statement ends with a period. And another thing you need to keep in mind is each ABAP word, each word that you write in the statement should have at least one space between them. So they should be separated by at least one space. So that's why if you see, I have written parameters, then gave a space and then gave the name of the parameter. Then I said type, again space, I said C, right? So if I, if I don't give the space, I'll get a syntax error because the system will try to consider this whole word as one keyword and since that keyword doesn't exist it will give a syntax error 
so each word in a statement should be separated by space okay so uh, each above statement should begin with a keyword and end with a period each word in the statement should be separated by at least one space and above is not case sensitive so you can write your variable names in uppercase lowercase I can say p underscore name or I can say p underscore name in uppercase it doesn't matter they're not case sensitive similarly keywords I can say in uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter so above code is not case sensitive few programming languages like PHP for example it is case sensitive so if you have given a variable name in uppercase and if you have another variable which is with the same name but in lowercase then they are treated as two separate variables whereas in above it doesn't matter you can either use uppercase or lowercase another thing is one line of code this one line of code can have a single statement or it can also have multiple statements for example instead of writing this code in three lines I can write all the three statements in one line so I can write this way also so each above <coughs> line each program line can have a single statement or multiple statements for the system this particular statement parameters ends when it encounters this period and after that whatever you write it will treat that as a new statement so after dot after period then this is considered as another statement and again with period this statement ends and after that again whatever you write will be treated as a new statement so you can have multiple statements in a single line or you can also have one statement split across multiple lines so this same statement parameters p and p underscore name i can write it this way also i can split it into multiple lines as well there is no restriction that you have to just uh, you write the whole statement in a single line so your statement can extend to multiple lines a single statement can be written in multiple lines similarly one line can have multiple statements as well okay so these are the few simple syntax rules you need to keep in mind while writing your above code i'll just recap them again each above statement begins with the keyword and ends with the period there should be at least one space between each word in the statement and a statement can have the keyword the first word is the keyword and the other words of the statement can be operands operators or additions to the keyword each keyword comes with its own set of additions uh, you don't need to sit and memorize anything as you keep using them you'll you'll understand the additions that are available and uh, if you want to learn more about any keyword the first time you use any keyword i highly recommend you can keep your cursor on the keyword and press f1 on your keyboard it will open the keyword documentation where you can read more about the keyword understand what are the different additions that are supported for this keyword uh, you can think of additions as uh, something where you can extract more from the keyword so a keyword does some basic duty and when you use a particular addition you can enhance that function of that keyword so if, if for example if i'm showing a input screen to the user then i can use the parameters keyword for that uh, but if i want to provide more functionality let's say by the time the screen is shown i want to show some default value in that input field then i can use an addition that is available with the parameters keyword to place that default value on the input field so like that each keyword has its own set of additions that you can use and as you spend more time you'll automatically pick up these things so you don't need to sit and memorize and uh, ABAP is such a programming language which, which is heavily keyword driven what I mean by that is there are thousands of keywords and it is impossible for anyone to sit and memorize the best way to understand these keywords is use them in your programs as and when you come across a requirement so in this course we'll be doing that so I'll be introducing you these keywords one by one uh, based on the need we'll be exploring these keywords and every time I use a keyword for the first time I'll discuss more about that particular keyword okay if you if you, in this f1 documentation if you see the index above index so if you see there are thousands of keywords that you can use in above and if i select any keyword it will show more information about that particular keyword 
But again, as I said, don't worry about these things. It, it, it's not the right way to go through the keywords and understand where it is used. The right way would be what you want to do and then explore which keyword I should use to do that task. So that will be the right approach to learning about coding. So, but every time you use any keyword for the first time, spend some time in reading the documentation so that you can understand more about that particular keyword. So these are the basic simple syntax rules that you need to keep in mind while writing your ABAP code. And uh, there's one more thing called comments. Uh, whenever we are writing any program, you may be aware of the requirement. Uh, you have discussions with your business uh, users, functional consultants, and you understand the requirement and you write some logic according to your understanding. But uh, later on somebody else might want to change your program and when he looks at your code he may not really understand why you are using certain logic to do certain things right so what we do is you can write some explanation within your program but ABAP state ABAP program should only consist of statements right if you write anything else the system will give a syntax error for example now if I do a syntax check it is perfect because there is no error. I'm using the all the available statements. But if I write something, uh, let's say I want to give an explanation. I'm uh, using left justified for XYZ reason. Do not edit this. Something like that. If I write something like this, to explain it to other developers who are looking at my code and do a syntax check then the system will try to read this also as a ABAP statement and it will complain. So to maintain anything in your ABAP program apart from your ABAP statements we have to use these comment lines. So you have to basically comment a line. So when you comment a line the syntax checker will ignore them and when the program is running even the runtime environment will ignore them. So they won't be treated as statements so they won't be interpreted. So how do you maintain these comment lines? There are two ways you can maintain comment lines. If you want to comment the whole line, you can begin the line with star. So I, if you use this star, then the whole line will be commented. And now if I do a syntax check, the system has ignored that statement. right? So if you want to comment the whole line, you can begin the line with star. Uh, we also use comment lines, for example, uh, I have developed this program and I moved it to production and the end users are using it and later six months down the line when the user wants some changes and for that change to happen if you have to delete certain existing code then instead of deleting it we simply comment that code to maintain revision history. Uh, we never delete any code basically. So if you, if you don't want certain above statements to be executed while the program is running then you can also comment those lines instead of deleting them. So if you want to comment the whole line, you can begin your statement with a star. If you want to write inline comments, sometimes it's much easier to write a comment next to the statement. right? So if you want to write inline comments, you can use double quote in the line and whatever you write after the double quote will be treated as a comment. The system won't try to interpret that. So. So this is how you can maintain your comment line. So two ways. One is if you want to comment the whole line, you star at the beginning of the uh, statement. And if you want to maintain inline comments in between a line, then use double quote. And then the whatever you type after that will be treated as comment. And if you want to comment multiple lines at once, instead of putting star manually before each statement like this, let me make it to a single statement. So instead of putting star like this, what I can do is I can simply select all these lines together that I want to comment and press control and less than symbol on my keyboard. Then it will comment all those lines together. So this is multi-line comment. Similarly, if I want to uncomment multiple lines, select all those lines and press control and greater than symbol on your keyboard. This will uncomment those lines. So that's how you can maintain 
your comment line. So even here, instead of manually putting star, I can just put, put my cursor on the line and press control less than symbol and it will comment that line. Okay. So this is how you can maintain your comment lines. So comment lines are useful, couple of reasons. One is, if you want to explain something to other developers who, who might look at your code or if you want to maintain some change history in your program, then you can use this comment lines. So these are the basic above syntax rules you need to keep in mind. They're not complicated at all. Now that we know the syntax rules, in the next session, we'll explore the basic concepts in ABAP that will help you to write your ABAP program. So we'll start with one more, one important concept called type concept in which we'll understand how you can type your data objects. So see you in the next video.